Hi, this is Hank. Today we're going to look at the results of the dry pour versus wet mix strength comparison study. What we did was a compressive strength test. We did this with the professional agency. What you do is pour your concrete mix into a cylinder that is 8 inches deep, 4 inches in diameter. You let the concrete cure in whatever method you choose, and we'll talk about that later. And then you crush the concrete in a calibrated hydraulic press. The machine will give a readout of the maximum pressure that it took to do the crushing. And then you multiply this by the surface area being 4 inches. And then that gives you a PSI reading for the strength of the concrete. There are several factors that affect the compressive strength of concrete aside from the actual type of cement. The way the concrete is mixed, for example, the water to cement ratio is very important. If you have too much water in your mixing process, then your compressive strength will be lower. Another critical factor is the curing method after the samples are formed. When professionals do strength testing, they have very specific parameters that they must follow for moist curing the samples. One method used by my testing facility is to submerse the samples in a tub of water that has some mixture of lime in it. Another method they use is to put the samples in an environmentally controlled misting chamber. This chamber has a watering system which will mist the samples at a certain rate for the duration of the test period. In either case, these samples are moist cured for 28 days to reach their maximum strength. Since it is commonly accepted that concrete is at 99% strength by 28 days, that is the time period used by industry for maximum strength testing. A client may request breaks at earlier times as well, such as 3 days and 7 day test points for early strength testing. Most experts will say that concrete will continue to increase in strength over time for many years, but just at a dramatically slower rate than at the first 28 days. It's very critical when you pour concrete that you keep that concrete moist for several days. The most critical time period is the first three to seven days. After that, it makes less and less difference as the charts that I have here will show. Concrete that is moist cured for the first three days will attain 75% of its compressive strength. Concrete that is moist cured for 7 days will attain almost 100% of its strength. Concrete that is moist cured for 28 days will attain more than 100% of its rated strength. This all assumes proper mix and other factors. Also notice this chart goes out for 365 days. This shows that the concrete that is moist cured that entire time will continue to get stronger. But the thing here that we can all take away is that we must moist cure our concrete for at least the first three to seven days if we want it to be as strong as the advertised rating. So the goal for this experiment never was to see if we could hit the rated PSI for the concrete mix. We were just trying to compare wet mix to dry pour. Uh, none of this was moist cured, so if you remember the chart we just showed, uh, without moist curing, the best we're going to get is 50% of the rating on the bag. It was a 4,000 PSI mix, and spoiler alert, the wet mixes, the best of them, barely hit a little more than 2,000 PSI. Okay, so here are the testing conditions. We left a half inch of headroom in all of the cylinders to allow for the watering of the dry pour samples. Uh, the dry pour mixes were not compacted as you normally would do uh, with the screening process because we needed to leave that headroom in order to get some water to stay on those cylinders. Uh, the wet mix was done by feel and not measured out to uh, simulate the average homeowner. Uh, most of us don't measure things. We think we know how it works and we do it by feel and by eye. Um, all the samples were removed from the cylinders within 24 to 48 hours, then laid out side by side in open elements uh, outdoors, and 37 days passed from the forming of the last cylinder to the date that we did the testing. So here are those results. 
the top section D2 through D6 that's your dry pours and W1 through W5 are your wet mixes I removed the ones that had the lowest reading from each category so you can see dry pour uh, for instance D2 broke at 13,060 pounds of force which equates to 1039 PSI and uh, the wet one broke at 23,740 pounds of force which equates to 1889 PSI so the average dry pour broke at 13,418 pounds of force and that is 1067 PSI and your average wet mix broke at 25,363 pounds or 2,061 PSI that is almost exactly one half of the label rating on this 4,000 PSI mix I attribute that to the fact that we did not moist cure any of this so if we would have moist cured the wet mix maybe we would have got the 4,000 PSI that will be the next experiment we are going to redo this and we are going to moist cure also the dry pour was at a distinct disadvantage um, you saw those cylinders they're four inches in diameter and eight inches deep you can only get water in from the top uh, when you dry pour a sidewalk or a slab you get water from all directions it soaks up from the ground it's got a larger surface area on the top and you're only three and a half inches thick so it took two days on the dry pours to get the uh, mix wet or yeah get it wet enough so that it can set up and you can get it out of the mold well we we know now that uh, three days the first three days is critical you've got to uh, get it wet and keep it wet for the first three days if you want your maximum strength actually you know seven or twenty eight days if you want the maximum strength so what we're going to do is redo this we are going to put the uh, uh, we're going to pull the uh, wet mixes out as soon as they're set up we're going to put them in the uh, tub of water and we're going to do the dry pours we will figure out a way to get them wetter faster um, and we will also moist cure those but as you can see here the percentages dry pour didn't do too bad 53 percent as strong as the wet mix and uh, or the wet mix is 47 percent stronger than the dry pour now that is uh, I don't think representative of what you would get on a slab or a sidewalk because you're not getting water from from all sides and now that we know to moist cure um, you know even if we would have wet mixed our concrete and just you know not moist cured it we're only getting half the strength that we think we're getting so we will be doing another experiment here real soon um, and we will moist cure everything and we will see if we get much better results but the big takeaway when you do your concrete whether it's dry pour or whether it's a wet mix if you have a contractor come out whatever keep that thing wet for at least the first three to seven days if you want it to be really strong keep it wet for 28 days so I hope you enjoyed this video I'm gonna go ahead and show some clips of some crushing and some mixing and uh, thanks for sticking around and uh, sorry this took so long to get out but it was a it was a waiting game we had to wait a long time for this to uh, to cure then we had to get the appointment set up and then this video has been kind of a nightmare to edit so apologize if it's been dry I hope you got something out of it and we'll see you next time on how that works with Hank Ball.